We are here to present to you Ayala Corporation and Ayala Land Incorporated. The Spanish version of this company is Ayala A. Compania and it is a publicly listed company for the diversified interest of Ayala Group. The company was founded on January 23, 1968 and is headquartered in Makati, Philippines. The company operates through nine business segments, real estate and hotels, financial services and insurance, telecommunications, water utilities, electronics, information technology and business process segment, automotive, infrastructure and power, international and others. Ayala Land Incorporated is a property development company in the Philippines. Incorporated in the year 1988, ALI is involved in property development, spanning from residential, commercial, and industrial space development, mall and hotel operation, construction, and property management services. The company's main properties for the lease are the Ayala Center in Makati and four office buildings in the area Namely, Tower 1, 6750 Ayala Avenue, Makati Stock Exchange Building, and Ayala Life FG Center. The hotels and resorts segment operates Hotel Intercontinental Manila, Cebu Marriott, Fairmont Hotel, and Ruffles Makati. The services segment deals with the construction and property management business. The company's subsidiaries include Alvea Land Corporation, OLC Development Corporation and subsidiary Arizona International LTD and Avila Sales Corporation. For fundamental analysis as compared to Mega World Corporation, Ayala Land Incorporated and Ayala Corporation has a higher current price over earnings ratio, earnings per share, price per group, and price per sale. However, most foreign companies or investors who decided to invest invest in the Philippines, we look for a good name. Ayala Land Incorporated and Ayala Corporation, if we look at their names, are a fetch higher evaluation. Therefore, Ayala Land Incorporated and Ayala Corporation deserves a higher price per earnings ratio. That is why it is expensive than megawords. As for the technical analysis, RSI is in the neutral zone with turning down neither overbought or oversold. Back D by the end of the September crossover, but there is a tendency to cross over again, and this time it will reach bullish state. A recommendation is to prepare to buy. Wait for the RSI to reach downtrend again or make it oversold and the price to touch the lower band of the Bollinger Bands. <coughs>